Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun! The clock ticked past midnight as Evelyn put the finishing touches on her plan. Months of careful preparation had led to this moment. She smoothed out the crisp white blouse laid across the bed, nestled between a tailored charcoal pantsuit and gleaming patent leather pumps. You ready, hon? She called out, trying to mask the excitement in her voice. A muffled response came from the bathroom. I... I'm not sure about this, Ev. Trust me, darling. Remember our agreement. One night, no judgment. The bathroom door creaked open slowly. Daniel peered out, his face a mix of apprehension and curiosity. Evelyn's heart swelled with affection for her husband, of 15 years. She knew this wasn't easy for him, but she also sensed an undercurrent of intrigue beneath his nerves. Come on out! Let's get you dressed for success! Daniel shuffled into the bedroom, clutching his robe tightly. I feel ridiculous already. Nonsense! By the time I'm done with you, you'll be the most powerful woman in the room. Evelyn winked, holding up the blouse. Arms up. With gentle coaxing, she helped Daniel into each piece of the outfit. The silky blouse whispered against his skin as she buttoned it up. Next came the perfectly tailored pantsuit, hugging his frame in all the right places. Evelyn knelt to help him step into the pumps, her fingers lingering on his ankles. How do they feel? Daniel took a tentative step. Wobbly. How do you walk in these things? Practice, darling. Now for the finishing touches. She guided him to the vanity, where an array of makeup awaited. With deft strokes, Evelyn applied foundation, contouring Daniel's features into softer planes. A hint of smoky eyeshadow, a swipe of mascara, and a dab of bold red lipstick completed the transformation. Ready to see yourself? Daniel nodded, his eyes squeezed shut. Evelyn turned him to face the full-length mirror. Open your eyes, Danielle. His lashes fluttered open. For a long moment, he stared at his reflection in stunned silence. The person gazing back was both familiar and foreign, still unmistakably him, yet radically transformed. The suit accentuated his lean build, while the makeup softened his features into an elegant, feminine visage. I... Wow. Is that really me? Evelyn beamed, squeezing his shoulders. That's Danielle Blake, the most formidable CEO this side of Wall Street. What do you think? Daniel, no, Danielle, straightened up, shoulders squaring. I think I need my briefcase. Evelyn grinned, producing a sleek leather attacha C case. One step ahead of you, boss. As Danielle's manicured fingers closed around the handle, something shifted in her demeanor. Her posture became more assured, chin lifting slightly. Shall we begin the scenario? Evelyn asked, barely containing her excitement. Danielle nodded, a hint of a smirk playing at her crimson lips. Let's do this. Evelyn quickly rearranged the furniture transforming their bedroom into a makeshift boardroom. She took her place at the far end of the table, now playing the role of a skeptical board member. Miss Blake, we've reviewed your proposal, but frankly, we have concerns about the aggressive timeline. Without missing a beat, Danielle strode to the head of the table, her heels clicking authoritatively on the hardwood floor. She set down her briefcase and fixed Evelyn with a steely gaze. Gentlemen, ladies, I appreciate your concerns. However, I didn't get where I am today by playing it safe. Her voice, usually a warm baritone, had taken on a silkier timbre. If we want to stay ahead of our competitors, we need to act decisively. Danielle flipped open her briefcase, producing a stack of documents with flourish. I have prepared a detailed analysis of market trends over the past five years. As you can see from these projections, our window of opportunity is rapidly closing. Evelyn leaned forward, fascinated by the transformation unfolding before her. Gone was her hesitant husband. In his place stood a confident, commanding presence. 
she decided to push back, testing the limits of this new persona. That's all well and good, Miss Blake, but what about the potential risks? We can't afford another setback like the Miller account. Danielle's eyes flashed, accepting the challenge. The Miller account was a calculated risk that didn't pan out as expected. However, it provided valuable insights that we've incorporated into this new strategy. She leaned in, voice dropping to a compelling murmur. I assure you, the potential rewards far outweigh any perceived risks. For the next hour, they sparred back and forth. Evelyn threw every objection she could think of, and Danielle countered each one with poise and conviction. As the role play reached its crescendo, Evelyn found herself genuinely swayed by the arguments. Well, Miss Blake, she said, breaking character for a moment. I think you've made a compelling case. The board votes in favor of your proposal. Danielle's face broke into a triumphant smile. Excellent, I look forward to exceeding your expectations. She gathered her papers, slipping them back into the briefcase with a satisfying click. As the adrenaline of the scenario began to fade, Evelyn watched a flicker of uncertainty cross Danielle's face. How? How was that? Evelyn crossed the room, taking Danielle's hands in her own. That was incredible. You were incredible. Really? I felt so different. Powerful. That's because you are powerful, darling. This just helped you tap into a side of yourself you don't usually show. Danielle nodded slowly, processing. Strange. I thought I'd feel silly, but instead I felt free. Like I could be anyone, do anything. Evelyn smiled, a mischievous glint in her eye. Well, the night is still young. How about we take Danielle Blake out on the town? A moment of hesitation, then a nod of agreement. You know what? Let's do it. They made their way to a high-end hotel bar across town, far from their usual haunts. As they entered, Evelyn couldn't help but notice the heads that turned to follow Danielle's confident stride. They settled at the bar, Danielle smoothing her pantsuit as she perched on the stool. The bartender approached, his gaze lingering appreciatively on Danielle. What can I get for you ladies this evening? Without missing a beat, Danielle leaned in, her voice a sultry purr. I'll have a whiskey, neat and my companion will have a gin and tonic, please. Evelyn chimed in, marveling at her husband's transformation. As the bartender moved away to prepare their drinks, a distinguished-looking man in his fifties approached. Pardon the interruption, but I couldn't help noticing your briefcase. Hermes, isn't it? Exquisite taste. Danielle turned, one eyebrow arched elegantly. Indeed it is. You have a good eye, Mr. Harrison. James Harrison. He extended his hand, which Danielle shook firmly. I'm in mergers and acquisitions, and you are... Danielle Blake, CEO of Blake Enterprises. The lie rolled off her tongue smoothly, as if she'd been rehearsing it for years. This is my associate, Evelyn. Evelyn nodded in greeting content to watch the scene unfold. She marveled at the ease with which Danielle commanded the conversation, steering it effortlessly from pleasantries to business. Blake Enterprises? I don't believe I'm familiar with your company. Harrison probed. Danielle's lips curved into a knowing smile. That's by design, Mr. Harrison. We prefer to let our results speak for themselves, Perhaps you've heard of the Nexus Project? Harrison's eyes widened slightly. The Nexus Project was a highly secretive tech initiative that had been making waves in investment circles. You're involved with Nexus? Involved? Danielle chuckled, taking a sip of her whiskey. Mr. Harrison, we're spearheading it, but I'm sure you understand that I can't discuss the details in such a public setting. For the next half hour, Evelyn watched in awe as Danielle wove an intricate web of half-truths and implications, leaving Harrison hanging on her every word. It was a masterclass in confidence and misdirection. As the conversation wound down, 
Harrison pulled out a business card. Miss Blake, it's been a pleasure. I'd love to continue this discussion in a more private setting. Perhaps we could arrange a meeting next week? Danielle accepted the card with a gracious nod. I'll have my assistant reach out to your office, Mr. Harrison. Enjoy your evening. As Harrison walked away, visibly impressed, Evelyn leaned in close. That was amazing! Where did all that come from? Danielle's composed facade cracked for a moment, a flicker of surprise crossing her features. I... I'm not entirely sure. It just felt natural, like slipping into a roll. They finished their drinks and made their way out of the bar, Danielle's heels clicking confidently on the marble floor. As they stepped into the cool night air, Evelyn noticed her husband's posture change subtly, some of Danielle's assurance falling away. You okay, hon? She asked gently. Daniel nodded, his voice closer to its usual register. Yeah, I think so. It's just a lot to process. They walked in comfortable silence for a while, the city's nightlife buzzing around them. Finally, Daniel spoke again. I never realized. I mean, I knew intellectually that women face different challenges. But experiencing it firsthand, the way people looked at me, spoke to me, it was eye-opening. Evelyn squeezed his hand encouragingly. What surprised you the most? The power, Daniel admitted. Not just in the boardroom scenario, but out here too. The way I could command attention, steer conversations. It was intoxicating. They reached their car, and Daniel paused before getting in. Ev, thank you for this. I know it might seem strange, but I feel like I understand you, understand myself, better now. Evelyn's heart swelled with love and pride. That's all I wanted, darling, to help you explore a different side of yourself. As they drove home, Daniel grew quiet, lost in thought. Evelyn could almost see the gears turning in his mind, processing the night's experiences. Back in their bedroom, Daniel carefully removed each piece of Danielle's outfit, treating the clothes with a newfound respect. As he wiped away the last traces of makeup, he caught Evelyn's eye in the mirror. Do you think, could we do this again sometime? Evelyn's face lit up with a warm smile. Of course, darling, anytime you want. She paused, considering. You know, there's a charity gala coming up next month. How would Danielle Blake like to make her society debut? A slow grin spread across Danielle's face, a glimmer of Danielle's confidence shining through. I think she'd like that very much. As they settled into bed, Evelyn curled up against Daniel's chest, listening to the steady beat of his heart. She knew that tonight had changed things between them, opened up new avenues of understanding and exploration. Whatever came next, they would face it together, their bond stronger than ever. In the quiet darkness of their room, Daniel whispered, I love you, Ev. Thank you for helping me find this part of myself. Evelyn pressed a soft kiss to his cheek. I love you too, in all your forms. Good night, darling. As sleep began to claim them, Evelyn couldn't help but smile, already dreaming up new scenarios for Danielle Blake's next adventure. The journey they had embarked on tonight was just the beginning, and she couldn't wait to see where it would lead them next. The morning sunlight streamed through the curtains, casting a warm glow across the bedroom. Evelyn stirred, her eyes fluttering open to find Daniel already awake, propped up on one elbow and watching her with a thoughtful expression. Good morning, sleepyhead, he murmured, leaning in to plant a soft kiss on her forehead. Evelyn stretched, a contented smile playing at her lips. Mmm, morning. How long have you been up? A while. Just thinking. She rolled onto her side, mirroring his position. About last night? Daniel nodded, 
a hint of color rising to his cheeks. It's all still sinking in, you know? I keep replaying moments in my head, trying to make sense of it all. Any revelations? Evelyn asked, her tone gentle and encouraging. He was quiet for a moment, gathering his thoughts. It's strange. I thought I'd wake up feeling, I don't know, embarrassed? Like it was just some silly game we played, but instead I feel different. Like I've unlocked something inside myself that I didn't even know was there. Evelyn reached out, intertwining her fingers with his. Different how? More. Whole, I guess. Like Danielle isn't just a character I put on, but a part of me that's always been there. Waiting to be discovered. He paused searching for the right words. It's not about wanting to be a woman exactly. It's more like, I've found a new way to express aspects of myself that I've always kept hidden. That's beautiful, darling, Evelyn said, her heart swelling with pride and love. Daniel's brow furrowed slightly. But what does it mean? For us? For our marriage? Evelyn sat up, pulling Daniel with her, until they were face to face. It means we're growing, exploring, learning more about ourselves and each other. That's what a good marriage is all about, isn't it? He nodded slowly, a small smile tugging at the corners of his mouth. You're right. I just... I don't want you to think that this changes how I feel about you, or that I'm not happy with our life together. Oh, sweetheart. Evelyn laughed, cupping his face in her hands. If anything, this brings us closer. You've shared something incredibly intimate and vulnerable with me. How could that possibly make me love you less? The tension visibly drained from Daniel's shoulders. He leaned in, capturing her lips in a tender kiss that spoke volumes of gratitude and affection. As they parted, Evelyn's eyes sparkled with mischief. So, about that charity gala next month. Daniel groaned good-naturedly. You're not going to let that go, are you? Not a chance, she grinned. Danielle Blake has a reputation to build, after all. He shook his head, chuckling. All right, all right. But this time, I want to be more involved in the planning. If I'm going to step out as Danielle, I want to do it right. Evelyn clapped her hands together excitedly. Oh, this is going to be so much fun! We'll need to go shopping, of course. And maybe some lessons in walking in heels? As Evelyn rattled off a list of preparations, Daniel found himself swept up in her enthusiasm. The nervousness he'd felt last night was still there, but it was overshadowed by a growing sense of anticipation. Over the next few weeks, their evenings and weekends were filled with clandestine shopping trips, hushed conversations about fashion and etiquette, and impromptu practice sessions in their living room. Daniel threw himself into the preparations with unexpected gusto, surprising even himself with his attention to detail. The night of the gala arrived faster than either of them had anticipated. As Evelyn put the finishing touches on her own elegant gown, she could hear Daniel pacing nervously in the adjoining bathroom. Everything okay in there, hun? She called out. The door cracked open, and Daniel's voice drifted out, tinged with anxiety. I don't know if I can do this, Ev. What if someone recognizes me? Evelyn crossed the room, gently pushing the door open wider. The sight that greeted her took her breath away. Daniel, no, Danielle, stood before her, a vision in a floor-length midnight blue gown that shimmered with every movement. Her hair, carefully styled into soft waves, framed a face that was both familiar and transformed. Oh, darling, Evelyn breathed. You look absolutely stunning. Danielle's eyes met hers in the mirror, a mix of vulnerability and excitement swirling in their depths. Really? You don't think it's too much? It's perfect, Evelyn assured her stepping closer to adjust a stray lock of hair. And, as for being recognized, remember what we talked about? 
Confidence is key. If you believe you're Danielle Blake, so will everyone else. Danielle took a deep breath, squaring her shoulders. As she did, Evelyn could almost see Danielle's persona settling over her husband like a second skin. You're right, Danielle said, her voice taking on that silky timbre they'd practiced. Danielle Blake doesn't doubt herself. She owns every room she walks into. Evelyn grinned, offering her arm. That's my girl. Shall we? As they descended the grand staircase of the hotel where the gala was being held, all eyes turned to follow their entrance. Danielle's grip on Evelyn's arm tightened momentarily, then relaxed as she settled into her role. The evening passed in a whirlwind of introductions, small talk, and subtle power plays. Danielle moved through the crowd with grace and authority, her fabricated background as a tech mogul opening doors and piquing interest wherever she went. Evelyn watched with a mixture of pride and amusement as her husband effortlessly charmed everyone from city officials to celebrity guests. As the night wore on, Evelyn found herself in conversation with the wife of a prominent senator. Out of the corner of her eye, she spotted Danielle deep in discussion with a group of investors, gesticulating animatedly as she spoke. Your friend is quite remarkable, the senator's wife commented, following Evelyn's gaze. I don't think I've ever seen someone command a room quite like that. Evelyn smiled, a warm glow of pride spreading through her chest. Yes, she certainly is something special. As the gala began to wind down, Danielle made her way back to Evelyn's side, a triumphant gleam in her eye. Ready to call it a night? Evelyn asked, noticing the slight sag in Danielle's shoulders that betrayed her fatigue. Danielle nodded, stifling a yawn. I think I've networked enough for one evening. Let's go home. The ride back to their house was quiet, both of them lost in thought as they processed the events of the night. As they pulled into the driveway, Danielle turned to Evelyn, her expression serious. Ev, I need to talk to you about something. Evelyn's heart skipped a beat, a flicker of concern crossing her face. Of course, darling. What is it? They made their way inside, Danielle kicking off her heels with a sigh of relief as soon as they crossed the threshold. In the soft lamplight of their living room, she turned to face Evelyn, taking both of her hands. Tonight was... incredible. Being Danielle, moving through that world, it felt right, in a way I can't really explain. She paused gathering her thoughts. But it also made me realize something important. Evelyn squeezed her hands encouragingly. Go on. As much as I love being Danielle, as freeing and exciting as it is, it's not who I am all the time. Danielle's voice had returned to its natural register, the carefully cultivated feminine tones falling away. I don't want to transition or live as a woman full time but I also don't want to lock this part of myself away again. Evelyn felt tears pricking at the corners of her eyes, moved by the raw honesty in her husband's voice. Oh, sweetheart, you don't have to choose. You can be both Daniel and Danielle, in whatever way feels right to you. Daniel's face broke into a relieved smile. You mean that? You'd be okay with... with this being a regular part of our lives? More than okay, Evelyn assured him, pulling him close. I love you, all of you, Daniel, Danielle, and every shade in between. As long as you're happy and true to yourself, I'm right here beside you. They stood there for a long moment, holding each other close. Finally, Daniel pulled back slightly, a mischievous glint in his eye. So, does this mean I get to keep the shoes? Evelyn burst out laughing, the tension of the moment dissolving. Darling, you can keep the whole wardrobe, but fair warning, if you think you're borrowing my clothes without asking, we're going to have words. As they made their way upstairs, 
playfully bickering about closet space and makeup sharing, both felt a profound sense of contentment settle over them. The journey they had embarked on that first night had led them to a deeper understanding of themselves and each other. Whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together. Daniel, Danielle, and Evelyn, united in love and acceptance. Thanks for watching my girlies! Be sure to check out Patreon for more!